Hello everyone and welcome to Rose Woodwork and today I want to talk about how am I going to improve my central machinery Harbor Freight scroll saw. Right now my scroll saw is set up to be with the original pieces that come in when you put the blade but one of the problems that I always have with this particular scroll saw and I'm assuming everybody else that gets a scroll saw is that sometimes when you're scrolling and you're cutting the blade slips out of here because the mechanism how it's done is not very good on top of that every time you gotta change the blade it's a hassle because you have to use this tool which is an allen key and it's very uncomfortable number one uh, and number two, whenever you're tightening it up, it doesn't tighten up good enough and so the blade slips out. And it's very frustrating, not only when you are trying to put this back again, but also when you're cutting, sometimes the blade slips out. To fix the problem with the Harbor Freight Scroll Saw, I ordered this EC set blade holder system for the scroll saw. Now this one in particular is the exact match for my scroll saw. I'm going to put a note here somewhere here of the uh, number of my scroll saw and I'm also going to put a note on where you can order your set if you are interested. Now it brings all the pieces and the, this is very easy to assemble there's no way you can really mess it up and you got you know the pieces is all here with their little uh, nuts and everything and screws and all I get and, and actually it includes two allen keys so you can actually put this thing over there so I'm going to show you how to install this on my scroll saw so. oh and I almost forgot this this is a block and it's called, I'm going to tell you right now what's it called because I don't know the proper names for this. But this is the um, scroll blade fixture. And it, what it is, is a piece where you're going to set it up next to your scroll saw or somewhere around the scroll saw. So you actually, when you want to change your blades from the whole nine yards meaning taking out the complete blade out and putting a new one you're going to take the bottom piece place it in here and this will hold it firm and that way you can insert the blade and then do the change and use your allen key just this one i think yeah use your allen key and just press it and that's how instead of using you know you you need both hands to hold the blade and to tighten this screw. Alright so the first thing we're gonna do is take this plate out. This I have made for my scroll saw because I didn't like the original plate which is this one right here. Uh, you can see the difference because uh, this has like a big gap here and this is zero gapped so I like this very much because sometimes when you're cutting pieces go in there it's kind of weird I don't know how to explain you will have to actually use it probably if you have this machine you know what I mean so I'm gonna take this out take it out and we're also going to uh, take the blade out well that was easy it went out like really quick and in the past what I did is use some electrical tape and kind of hold this down it kind of worked a little bit but still sometimes this just slips out and it's like a disaster but anyway we're gonna change that right so uh, we have to take this piece out so to take this out you need to remove this screw right here this one right here and then unscrew this knob right here and I believe there's another screw in the back so we're gonna do that
That's right. So what you're seeing right now is the back screw. So I'm going to see if I can take it off. It has a little nut here. But I'm not sure. And this is not the proper key. You have to have a, a bigger key. I'm going to try to use one, one of the ones that the kid bring. This one doesn't fit either. So I found the other Allen key that the scroll saw brings and it's the proper one for this particular screw. And I have this little wrench. It's a number 10 and actually it does fit right there. So all I gotta do is, let's see if I can, actually this Allen key doesn't fit either. Quite interesting. I got a needle nose flyer here. Let's see if that's going to work. It's kind of hard to do it, but if you have the proper tools, you can take it out. So I got the nut out. And we can take the screw out, I think. Very carefully, because there's pieces here that you're gonna need, which is a, uh, a spring and a washer. So don't lose them. can pull out this screw. There is actually another screw down here that I didn't saw before so it's two in the front that you have to take off so this can be released. So as you can see I also have some tape here because I had to hold down the bottom piece. I, then again it kind of worked but uh, it's not the ideal so I'm going to remove that. And this is the piece that holds the bottom part of the blade. This is the piece that brings this machine. So the other part is that we need to remove this piece. And it also has another screw here that we need to take out. So the big Allen key of the machine will actually fit on the screw. So see if I can loosen it up a little bit because it's very tight
okay it's finally out it's kind of tricky though very tricky to remove so the new bottom piece brings its own you see it here it brings its own screw so you remove this cap and let me see if this is going to take me forever I'm going to try the keys that the kit bring and this one should help the smallest one to fit in the screw yep and what you got to do is basically screw this part at the bottom so this has a hole here so you can actually insert the allen key through the hole and try to work it out it's kind of hard though to be quite honest with you but you got to do what you got to do right <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to screw this part I have hands, this is gonna be a problem. I'm looking at that, I'm looking at that, I can do her very well, but with that, I'm still having difficulty, so I can't imagine having bigger hands. So, just so you know, you want to do this, you have somebody with small hands, tell me how to do this, I'm not gonna be able to work easily. So, I finally installed the uh, bottom piece. It's kind of difficult, and you actually have to take there was a plastic piece here and the old the one the original piece that the machine brings and i used the same screw because this screw didn't fit i tried and i tried but it actually didn't fit right so it stays the same it's secure so it works better with the original screw so now with this key i'm going to take off this part Some of the things have washers in them, so make sure you don't lose them. I think you can take this off. Alright, so this is the piece I'm going to install now. This is what is going to hold the blade and mind you and i didn't mention that before you can use pinless or with pins the blades so you have the option all you got to do is turn around the piece and then you can use whatever you need in my case i'm going to use the pinless because i like using those so this already has a screw um it's longer than the original one let me show you so this one is not going to work. Uh, I got to use the one that brings the piece. Hopefully it will fit in there. Because I have a hard time on the bottom piece. I don't think it's going to be hard time. It's easier. Just that since it's so small, then you have to. Kind of like, yeah. Okay, just bring it. Make sure it's straight. Okay, like that. You know, I'm sure it's straight. So, not straight. Get there. Tighten it up. That should be it. So the cool thing about this piece is that it's quick release. You just turn this off, and you put the blade in, and boom, you're done. So, that's a new piece. All right now this piece should be hooked to your workbench or should be hooked to your scroll saw this is just to hold down this piece um, and you can insert it right here and it won't move that's because you're going to need two hands to insert the blade and tighten it up so if you have your blade right this is my blade it's a little crooked though but it I mean, it, it, this is a pinless blade, and uh, I j this is just for showing purposes. So we're going to put this here. So we're going to insert the blade. Always the teeth is towards you. So with one hand. Oh, if this was hooked to the table, it would be much easier. 
but I don't know where to put it yet so this is how I'm gonna work it out just holding it down um, and that should do the trick I think um, there you go so you turn that up there you go all right once you're done uh, putting your blade in this piece all you gotta do is insert this part right here at the bottom and there's like a um, rubber stopper here that it will hold your blade or this piece practically very snug in there so all you gotta do is put that there and then you're set to go uh, let me put everything back again and I'll show you how this is gonna work All right, so basically now everything is set up. I have put the blade on the bottom part, like I explained before. And all you gotta do now is just release the blade tension. And then you can just push this down a little bit and being very careful, holding the blade to stay still and then turning the knob or the butterfly. Um, you tie it up, you, Put tension back again to your blade and I think I'm done there you go and you got your blade tensioned and uh, it's perfect so this is just the most incredible upgrade to this particular scroll saw uh, from Harbor Freight and uh, it has made my cuts much fun and much easier so thank you guys for watching uh, please don't forget to subscribe click that bell button and I'll catch you in my next video goodbye